the plays the thing with Judy Sleed. Today's special guest, Frank Sofo, artist and illustrator. And now here's Judy, Judy, Judy. That was a lovely introduction. Lee, thank you so much, and I would like to welcome Frank. Well, thank you. I'm so happy to have you here. Well, I'm very happy to be here with you. From the crazy monkey, and people that's who right, don't that's how we know, met. <laughs> people <laughs> who don't know the crazy monkey, it sounds like a weird thing from the zoo. <laughs> 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 it is an artist studio in East Hampton. Uh, it's an artist. It was started by uh, Andrea McCafferty as a, uh, I think originally she started as a, a store that's where she did uh, sold pottery and jewelry, and then she decided to make it into a gallery. This goes back a few, a year, a few years. And then recently, as of November, uh, she, she wanted to move on and do other things, but she decided to offer it, uh, the idea up uh, to start a, an artist co-op rather than give up the lease. So she sent out uh, letters to a bunch of artists that she knew and uh, you know a lot of us responded and we had meetings and you know now we, we have a group of 15 uh, artists that are involved in this co-op and it's been going like I said since November so it's... Yes, uh, you have beautiful things there and you are an artist in this beautiful picture. <laughs> Thank you. you made, is that me on the beach? <laughs> <laughs> Were you there that day? Well, <laughs> it looks like me from the back. I have a back just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely picture. Well, I, uh, what I like to do is, uh, is uh, I'm a beach bum. I mean, you know, that's what brought me out here. Uh, uh, I spend a lot of my days at the beach with my sketchbook. And uh -huh. I often sketch people on the beach uh, and then from the sketches, I, I turned them into paintings later on. So, uh, and I love to capture peop people that have, you know, the kind of peaceful moment, and, you know, that, that, you know, that yes, you feel when you're relaxed they, on the beach. they're not aware that they've been no, captured. They, you know, no, they're not aware, you know, so. This reminds me of Dan, whom I'm trying to get on this show for the longest time. Dan from Dan's paper. Yes. He loves to go on the beach and write. Did you ever see him? No, I haven't. I mean, I should recognize him with that hat and all. But yeah, and you should sketch him when he's unaware. He writes his stories there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you'll often see me at uh, uh, either Main Beach or uh, Indian Wells and with my sketchbook and, you know. Uh, Even in the dead of winter? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 then I'm forced to go into the studio. That's when I do the paintings, you know. I, do the, I try to do the sketching, the outdoor stuff during these nice weather and then in, you know in the winter months I I do these paintings from from sketches uh, uh, sometimes I use photography and then for you it's summer again when you do yes this. it makes you feel like I can't wait till the summer comes along I can mm -hmm. I can look at the uh, you know people sitting on the beach and this is one of the paintings that's I think I'm going to display at the show at the uh, which is coming up there's a new show start that's going to be opening uh, this Saturday at the Crazy Monkey Gallery, which is in Amagansett. I want to give you the location. Uh, and it's called Scapes. Uh, each month we have a different theme for uh, the show. So uh, this month it's going to be called Scapes. So even though there are people in it, I figured it fits the Seascape. land. Seascape. Seascape. So, uh, I mean, scapes could be a broad term. It could be dreamscapes and cityscapes, treescapes. Well, know, that's whatever. a good title. Yeah. And uh, you said you're going to give the location. Well, uh, we are crazy monkeys. Many people would not find it because it's not on the main yeah, street. Yeah, it's right as you're entering the town. I don't, uh, I, you know, I don't know the, the actual number address, but it's as you're uh, entering the, right in the town of Amagansett, right after the mobile station, there's a kind of a little shopping area. There's a sandwich place there, and it is the. It's right. Actually, if a lot of people would probably know, if they have pets, it's right next to One Stop Pet Store. Uh huh. You know. Because it's not a street. It's just a little alcove. It's a little alcove. It's mm -hmm. a little alcove. So some you can miss it. You know, if you're walking on the street and you're not looking for it. 
but uh, well, at least now people know whereabouts yeah, to and, look. Yeah, uh, and you know, welcome everybody to come to see this show, uh, the Escapes. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have another picture that you made here. I was going to say I made it, but <laughs> I'm not going to. So you would like to show this? Yes. Uh, put this it, is also put part of the. Uh, uh, is that okay? Can you see that? Well, if the camera, no, it's a, a little that way. No. Yeah, and okay, now okay. Up, up, up this way. This way. Down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see most of it. It's okay. beautiful. That's also a Right, escape. this is a watercolor, and it's going to be part of the, uh, the show called Escapes. It uh, is very beautiful. Oh, thank you. I don't know because I don't know how to draw anything, so I really <laughs> admire people who uh, who make these beautiful pictures. And you have a portfolio there. You have some other. Right. I'm an, as an artist and illustrator. I've illustrated uh, uh, children's books. Uh, wow, that's really a, a uh, interesting uh, I'll, uh, category. I'll hold this book up. See if you can uh, see that. This is yes. called the Littlest Red Horse. Uh, beautiful. And uh, and then this book is uh, another book called The Time Shop. You know. Great. Uh, how many pages would you say? This is, this is a standard children's book. Uh, standard children's books usually r always run 32 pages. Is that right? So there's usually about that. 16 illustrations per 32 page, approximately. Oh, put it down you know. so we could yeah. see your face now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and how long would you say it takes you to illustrate one book with uh, 32? For this type, for a children's book, it's uh, usually a, you know, uh, three or four month project. Sometimes for some artists it could run even longer depending on the complexity of the, of the illustrations. You know. How do you get the feel of it? Do you talk to the uh, writer? I talk to the, no, you don't talk to the writer. <laughs> For some reason, they keep the writer and the illustrator separate most of the time. I don't, I don't ask me why, but, uh, you know, I guess uh, they send you, they send me the manuscript. Uh, and then, uh, and then from there, they'll ask me to do sketches. You know, they may make some suggestions as what, they want to depict, uh -huh. you know, but pretty much they usually the suggestions are more for the cover. But as far as the interior illustrations go, it's kind of they leave it up to me to decide. Just reading the story and decide, and just sending the art director sketches. I won't. You know, I'll send them several sketches. I might send them several ideas for even one page, and then the art director goes through these sketches, and then they decide which ones they like the most and. And those, those are the ones that I'm going to. And uh, you never take met any step. of the authors? No, uh, not uh, the, the authors on these two books who were, were these were, uh, were no longer. <laughs> you know, these the, these these stories are fairly old, so the oh, authors so have passed the authors on. Yeah, passed on, so they cannot complain. No, right? that, that was one of the things they told me about. You know, yes. don't worry about the author getting upset about the illustrations because they're oh, not around. Oh, that's why. Because I was wondering, you know, if uh, how the author would feel about. Uh, putting your own thoughts into the sketches instead of her I or his ideas. Well, usually, I think from what I've been told, on, uh, you know, and uh, I ha uh, where the author is around, I mean, y the still, the illustrator doesn't usually get to meet, this is what I've been told, the uh, illustrator doesn't usually get to meet the author. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know why the publishing companies like to just keep that separate, so you don't, uh, uh, Making things more complicated. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've illustrated and other um, uh, some Nancy Drew covers, <laughs> which I'll uh, show okay, here. Okay, let's see. Uh, I did about eleven or twelve Nancy Drew covers. Uh, you know. Interesting. Uh, and you, uh, we just never knew that it, it's you yeah. who did all this work. But this also is an old book. Right, well, these were done. Drew? These were done. Well, these stories are old, but there's this series that I illustrated where, where they were trying to up upgrade upgrade the uh, the covers. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, so Nancy Drew had to be up updated and, and, and her Nancy outfits. And Miss Nancy Drew is not alive anymore. 
<laughs> well, they, they have a different Nancy Drew for each. You know, we had to go, I had to, you know, they had to pick an, a new Nancy Drew. Uh, and mm -hmm. I went on a, uh, they had a photo shoot for the day. And they dressed her up. And, the, you know, because I did the sketches first. I mean, they, they gave me uh, a bunch of, mat, you know, summaries of the stories. Because I couldn't read each book. So, because it was 11 or so sto books. And they had made some suggestions. And I did a bunch of sketches. And then I showed them to the art director, and they said, "Okay, bring the sketches to the photo shoot." And, and it's and a then very interesting field. Yes, it's you very. know. So how did you get started with uh, drawing? Well, I have to go back to my uh, days in growing up in Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> drawing from comic. I mean, uh, you know, I guess I started just you know uh, copying uh, you know the superheroes from comic books. You know, Batman, Superman. Uh, Mighty Mouse, and uh, that was my first interest in drawing. You know, and did uh, somebody say, "Wow, that's good"? Well, I kind of—I guess <laughs> I had a, you know, it was like one of those things where, you know, I kind of knew what I wanted to do ever since I was, a, uh, you know, a, a child. Uh, I used to draw in the streets. I mean, friends used to ask me to draw, "Oh, draw Mighty Mouse again for us," you know. <laughs> so, and. Uh, then I wanted to work for Walt Disney because I loved all the, those movies that I used to go in. I wanted to be an animator and work for Walt Disney. Uh, and then eventually, when I when I went to uh, I went to the High School of Art and Design in Manhattan, and little by little, I, I started getting involved in uh, kind of away from the idea of being an animator and more of into an illustrator. As I met other people, and then my interests changed, uh, and. Uh, and then from there, I uh, went on to uh, study at uh, the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan. And then I went into the advertising business <laughs> because everybody told me there's money to be made. You know, the illustration area was, uh, was a tough business. It's tough to make money. Uh, and people said, go into advertising. So I went into the advertising business, and I spent several years in, uh, you know, working in, uh, as in the advertising agency as an art director. And then later on, I started doing what they call storyboard work, which is sketching for, uh, uh, it's, it's you know, storyboard so that uh, it's for a TV commercial. So you have to do a series of, of uh, almost like the children's book, kind of, but a lot faster. These drawings are done, you know, they have to be, you know, they're done within, you know, a day or two days. Uh, where there's a series of, of uh, the frames that look like a TV frame, and you depict what's going on in the commercial. And this is presented to, the, this is to sell to the client, to sell the idea to the client. That whether they should buy the product. That they should, well, well, that, that they produce the commercial, you know, that the you know, mm -hmm. whether it's Campbell's Soup or Pepsi or which was, sev you know, some of the accounts that uh, Schaefer Beer, I mean, and several of the accounts I worked on at, uh, at uh, uh, BBDO, which is the advertising agency I worked at for, for a number of years. And uh, then I just, after being there many years in the business, I just felt that, I mean, the pressure of the advertising business. Oh, the, the, I hear that the, from people, yes. The deadlines, I mean, you know, come Friday, uh, you know, at 4 o'clock, you know, you thought you were going home for the weekend, forget it. You know, they had a meet, they were having a meeting. Uh, there's a, uh, you know, they're going to show everything on Monday morning, so, you know, everybody has to come in for the weekend, so. And that, you know, after a while, I just, you know, it was it was taking me for away from the original idea that I had when I was in uh, of being an illustrator for books and children's, you know, finished illustration. Uh, the business took over the art. Right, and I just decided that it was time for me to move on and uh, you know start doing some more st stuff, the type of art or illustration that I really cared about. So now you just answered the question I was going to ask. <laughs> what do you <laughs> like to do best? You know, I'm, I'm very, uh, I like to do uh, a variety of things as far as, you know. I, I mean, sometimes one of the things about being in the, in the illustration business was that, uh, which is always a problem, is that they always a want a signature style, a look that they can identify with you. 
And I'm the type of artist that my style, my interests change, my subject matter changes. Uh, I want to, you know, I, I, I'm just that, you know, that's the type of artist I am. You know, sometimes if you were to walk into my studio, as, as, of, as time people have done, and they look at the walls and they said, you know, how, is this all you? Is this all you? <laughs> you know. Well, can you show us another different type of uh, painting? Uh, that yes. Have? Uh, uh, you asked about how I started drawing, and I, I've been drawing. Uh, one of my passions is drawing. And uh, I, and I learned a lot by just drawing uh, an, an artist, a teacher that I had in uh, School of Visual Arts, who was my kind of mentor, suggested if you really want to learn how to draw it, carry a sketchbook with you no matter where you go, uh, whether it's a subway. And I, you know, I listened to him, and I've been, I'm been doing it all these years, and I still do it. So uh, I, and I'll show you some of the, I, I draw, I call them my subway people. Uh, oh. And the, this, is, uh, this is a watercolor that I did from a sketch of two people that I, I, I uh, saw on the subway. Oh. And I do this quite often. I mean, I, I, just, I think this is, this is like some of the most more satisfying things that I, I enjoy doing. You know, I think it's, it's just kind of some spontaneous and, and fun. Very nice. Thank and, uh, you. And another one. And here's here's the actual sketch from the actual sketchbook. That's you know from that's uh, uh, that would have been done from like a you know uh, it's a small. I don't want to carry a big sketchbook. I I don't want to be noticed you know, <laughs> while I'm drawing people. Yes. You know, in waiting yes. room subways and buses mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I just love drawing people. I love drawing the different characters and types of people. You know. Uh, Again, here is a, a group of people sitting on the subway train. You know, this was uh, after I sketched it, I brought it, the sketches home, and I did okay, a... Okay, uh, you could a, put down a little... A, an acrylic okay, sketch. Yeah, that's great. Okay. That we could see that. Okay. Uh, this one was a... Uh, I think it was a, a woman. I, I, it was obviously a, a, a homeless person uh, on and she, mm -hmm. she just had a certain look to her and you know and I just tried to These capture it. These are the it. subway people, huh? I called them my subway people. You know? Yeah, well he could make a whole collection of Well subway somebody suggested people. today, I, I spoke to an artist friend. Uh, he could sell it to the subway company, the transit, the New York transit. And here's <laughs> another one. Oh, and these are two girls who are had Just a hard day. Had a hard day coming home. Sleeping. You know. That's well, why they don't notice me drawing them. The people, yes. people on the subways are in their own little uh, world. World, yes. Uh, and so that's, you know, main, you know, I just love, you know, uh, I'll show you some more. Here's another woman that's, uh, this is actually from the sketchbook. Yes. Uh, so. Yeah, it's hard to see that. Oh, it's really, can you see that No, now? it's because it's white. Oh, okay. Uh, it's small. Anyway. But it's lovely. Uh, mm -hmm. And, well, somebody, I talked to an artist friend today, and he says, you know, and I had thought of this idea, and he says, you know, because he knows I, he knows me, and he knows I was doing these sketches for years, and he does similar type of work. And uh, he says, you know, you really ought to think of compiling all those sketches and, and, and publishing them, and having and having a book, you know, maybe about your your, your experience mm -hmm. of traveling the subways <laughs> and that's sketching people on the subways. So that's a very good idea. Why know, don't you do it? I well, I'm going to go for it. It yeah. takes time. Yes. Takes time. So. Uh, but I, I, you know, I got a lot of experience in drawing, drawing the figure. I love to draw the figure, and I, and I like drawing from life. That's why drawing from the subway and, and drawing on the beach, uh, it's two different environments completely, <laughs> uh, is, is exciting for me. Uh, you know, it, just going out and drawing, you know, painting and drawing from life. Uh, and now you, now you have your work at uh, Crazy Monkey. Yes. But uh, where? Where else did you have a uh, Well, I'm also, I'm also part of the uh, Artist Alliance uh, of East Hampton. Uh, I'm, I've been in this, and I, uh, I think I'll be in the studio tour this uh, summer. They have a, an open studio tour, uh, usually in July. I well, this year, I think it's July 14th, 15th, and 16th. And mm -hmm. uh, people, you know, you, open your you keep your studio open for three days. And people come to your studio, and 
and hopefully you sell some work and but you meet a lot of people it's it's a lot of fun you know it's uh, uh, it's just a way of networking with people I get commissions sometimes do portraits and things like that so do you ever uh, put your work in a a big store like a bank or a, or a store? I've, I've shown, uh, I had a show at uh, a few years back at the, but they no longer, Coach had a gallery in, in the back of their store at one mm -hmm. time. I think they've disbanded that now, but I had a show there. But I know uh, some people who have their work in, in the bank, different uh, banks. The bank, yeah, the Bank of uh, New York. New York, uh, yes. I haven't shown in the bank as yet. I mean, I, I, I show it with the Alliance. Alliance has a member show at Ashwell Hall. There's a show coming in, coming up at uh, the Springs Improvement Society at Ashwell Hall that's going to have a group show, and I'll be part of that. Um, there's the uh, a show coming up, a Memorial Day show for at the uh, Southampton Artists Alliance, uh, Artists Association, I think it's called. Uh, and they do a Memorial Day show at the Cultural Center. Is right uh, yes, I know where that is. Yes. And uh, that's going to be running from that's for the about ducks four are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be running for about four days. And I'll, I'll have a three or four paintings in that show. So I find, I look for opportunity. And there's many out here. That's, that's the great thing about living out in, on the East End here. And, you know, uh, it is, it's a big art community. There's a lot of art groups, a lot of artists out here, a lot of competition. Uh, and um, but just the opportunity to show your work, you know, if you can't, mm -hmm. you know, get your foot in the gallery door, you, there's other areas to, to uh, opportunities to show your work out here. So uh, you know, there is uh, many many opportunities, and as you said, the many artists out here. However, there is a chance. I feel there is a, there's room for everyone. I think so. I mean, that's that was part of. Uh, becoming a member of the uh, co-op, the Crazy Monkey, just to meet, you know, often art, you know, I know with myself, uh, you know, being an artist uh, is an isolating uh, experience. experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, oftentimes it's, it's just nice to be part of, of groups where you get to talk to other artists and, uh, and you know, meet and see what they're doing. Uh, and that's the experience with the Crazy Monkey Gallery. There's, there's, a, there's a nice group of artists there. Uh, I, said that, like, this, I, did, I said there was 15 or so of us there. And each artist has a different style, a uh, different approach. And it's a nice group. And uh, we, we, we have meetings and we talk about ideas as far as what, we, what direction we want I to take the gallery. I heard that everybody who, who draws or paints, whatever. There is like, uh, there's not, no one else like it. It's like your signature. Well, hopefully that's what you 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 you, <laughs> you strive for. You know, you strive yes, to find. Yes, you could tell who uh, who does it. You strive for that. That's something. Oh, that you know. Although, like I said, when people look at mine, they they, they think it's like three or four different artists there. But uh, I think, kind of, if you really look through the kind of different approaches of different subject matter, you can kind of tell it's me, you know, I, I think so, I, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but. Uh, uh, and which uh, artist would you say you like, whose paintings do you like, like Michelangelo or, well, what, so or from the old uh, uh, school? I guess I'm most influenced by the Impressionists because my work tends towards that style. It's very, uh, as you can tell, it's kind of loose. It's kind of painterly. Uh, so, I mean, the artists like Van Gogh, um, uh, Gauguin, uh, Monet, uh, you know, uh, Bonard. I love Bonard's work. I love, you know, the colors, the use of color. Uh, I mean, that's was what changed me. I mean, I started using, you know, the use of color you know, uh, when I painted more an academic type of painting I used to do. But once I started looking at, uh, you know, going to the museum and looking at the Impressionist uh, artists and seeing the brush strokes and that spontaneity, I mean, it really excited me. And that's kind of what I, I strive for in my own work, to get that kind of, you know, that kind of uh, 
spontaneous feeling for it, that, that it was, you know, that, uh, that it's not labored on, that it's, it's, there's a freedom to it. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. want my work to have and a And getting free back to the, uh, you know, illustrating children's books, uh, did you ever try to uh, write a book yourself? Like some people, like Maurice Sendak, he, uh, he writes and does his own artwork. Yes, I'm, as after illustrating uh, 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 several of these books here, the art director that I was working on suggested to me that, although I didn't think of myself as a writer, I never even gave it much of a thought, but he says, you know, well, you ought to consider writing your own story. And I said to him, you know, I, I, I said, John, I'm not a writer. He goes, well, he says, you don't have to be. He says, you just have to have a good idea. He says, because we have, you know, even if you wrote it out, he said, we can always, you know, we get people that can, you know, change it and write it and correct it and stuff like that. So I, I thought about it and I, I've come up with several ideas for children's books that uh, I've written, you know, out and I've even shown to, you know, uh, so far you know, haven't had any, you know, uh, they haven't had well, any you bites. You have to keep at it yes. with anything. You can, if you just do a part time, then it's not going to happen. You just have to keep at it all the time, and you have to follow up. Right. When you send the work in, you don't just let it lay there for months. Right. They're going right. to forget it's going to get lost under the papers. Right. I just, <laughs> I just attended a, uh, uh, was part of the Artist Alliance group in, uh, at Asheville Hall this past Wednesday, which was a kind of a marketing thing for artists about how to, how to, use, how do you send in press releases. And, you know, so I know myself not being a very good business person, you know. Uh, that this is something I need to That's learn more about. Yes, when you're an artist, you're not a good business person. Neither am I. You know. And would you believe a half hour oh. is up? Well, no, and no, I wouldn't. And we're wondering it's what we're going to do for <laughs> it. Always, it always is. What are we going to do for a half an hour? I know. I said, can I keep? Always goes so fast. I know. Can I? I said, can I talk for half hour? I was nervous about that. <laughs> and it, uh, you know. it's been very informative and very nice and I, I learned a lot from what you said like what you were saying about the paintings you were watching you're looking at the brush stroke now who would who would look at the brush stroke I didn't oh even, I always look at the, that I you know, know, the way the, way the really brunt that the strokes go down I mean if you look at Van Gogh's you know work I mean you see the way he put down his the movement I mean it's such you know he captured the movement of, of nature I mean it's just so beautiful you know, so, yes. and if I could get close to that. Bye. Oh, thank you. Bye. I want to wave to the people. Oh, okay. Bye, Bye, everybody. See you again. <laughs>